Hi, my name is Maureen Waititu. Welcome to my home. I'm here for the True Love exclusive with Carol Mandy. Hi, my name is Carol Mandy. Today on True Love Exclusive, we speak to the beautiful Maureen Waititu. She finally addresses all the drama that's been going on on social media. She gives her side of the story and she sets the record straight. Maureen, it's such a pleasure to have you on True Love Exclusive. Thank you. You look amazing. <laughs> thank you so much. And your home is so beautiful, so cozy. Oh, thank you. This is all for the boys. It's all for the boys? Yes. So mm. you met Frankie. Maybe let's start with them yes. because mm. um, obviously nobody goes into a relationship hoping that it will break, it up, will break up or end yes. up the yes. way you yes. know this one is playing out Absolutely. on the social media space right um so you met frankie maybe tell us a little bit about that yeah so i met him in 2014 i had just i was about to graduate in ku and so it was just one of those you meet and then um yeah, we were together like literally all the time. He was always coming over to my place. Next thing you know, I was joining uh, Kenya School of Law and then I found out I was pregnant with uh, Lexi, mm -hmm. my firstborn. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, okay, it has happened. We're in a stable relationship. What do we do? Let's uh, do what we need to do and just become a family. Mm -hmm. And the mom told him, you know what, if you guys would like, just come over here. Uh, you can just take care of uh, the few expenses. And that's how we ended up here. Mm -hmm. So this is in uh, maybe April 2017. Okay. So this is over almost three years ago. Three years, three yeah. years. And then you had your second, second son. Second the following year, yes, right? Yes. And mm -hmm. it, it just happened because it was one of those, I, I actually wanted another baby, mm -hmm. but not so soon. Yes. But then, oops, <laughs> yeah. baby yeah. Kai came yes. and he's been the most beautiful baby ever. Yeah. And so when that happened, unfortunately, we were going through our own turmoil in the yeah. relationship. Things were not working out. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, so when, when did it start? Yes going bad yes because yeah. you already had your first son yes, yes, yes. he had proposed so yes. the natural progression yes. would be yes. to then go ahead and get married right um, which you you didn't do yes which so, we didn't even get to yeah you yeah. didn't get to yeah. when did it start going bad um was right. it after the engagement when did it start going bad yeah so uh it started off with no more couple fights mm. um i won't go into details as mm. to what they were but it was something that was happening happening so repetitively mm -hmm. and every time it would be like okay let's fix this blah 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 then a, f a, a few months later the same thing happens worse than even before try to resolve and i felt like with time uh we both played a role whereby maybe i wanted this and maybe he couldn't uh, get to it and vice versa and so uh, to be fair it was very draining at that time because at all this time i have small babies or oh, i'm pregnant or you know it, it was also very draining for me mentally and so with time um this is towards 2018 end of 2018 we knew things were really 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 bad oh. we were actually supposed to get married in december 2018 mm -hmm. we had a date yeah. and so um we were like i think there's no need of going ahead with this and so we decided let's give it one more shot uh in 2019 unfortunately six months later i personally felt like i couldn't take it anymore mm -hmm. and we amicably parted ways okay yes you know, um, it's mm -hmm. interesting because when mm -hmm. you talk about uh, when relationships begin to yep. fragment, yes. you know, yes. uh, and mm -hmm. there's always the other person. Yeah. But what 
would you mm -hmm. looking back yeah. what would you say was your role in right. the end of the relationship right right yeah this this is a question i get asked a lot and mm -hmm. um i've never played saint to say mm -hmm. that i'm the victim in mm -hmm. fact if anything we were just two young people who meant yes. to go somewhere but it never worked that mm -hmm. way so what i can say maybe my role would be i'm very firm yes. i'm very straight mm -hmm. and i like things done in a particular manner mm -hmm. and all the time i was always feeling like i'm pushing and pushing and i'm the one doing all the hard work and trying to make things work and of course it's not always pleasant yes. hence i've seen people labeling me as the nagging one yes. but you can imagine sometimes when you have a certain vision and you're going mm -hmm. somewhere mm -hmm. and this other person doesn't have the same vision mm -hmm. you'll always collide you know maureen your 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 name is trending right yeah. now yeah. Um, on social media mm. uh, it's all about the breakup True. Um, and you've talked to us about how you met but yes. at some point mm. the two of you became social media influencers yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we saw you documenting even the birth of your mm. child mm. Mm. Um, mm. and allowing cameras to come into the True. into the hospital room True. when that was happening yeah. so talk to me about your journey as a you know a couple mm you know on social media yeah. and building your social media mm -hmm. influence mm -hmm. together talk to me about that okay so uh even how it came to be was completely unplanned in mm -hmm. fact when i met frankie we were both uh just very normal regular people and mm -hmm. people started falling in love with us mm -hmm. because they would see this young cute couple mm -hmm. that is doing the most yes. and I, I can tell you at some point we were heading to the same direction yes. we wanted the best for each other yes. until the rain started beating us Yes. And at that point, still in between, we were trying to make this um, diary. Yes. We call it a diary for the kids whereby mm -hmm. they would see what their parents were doing. They would uh, capture what we were doing, you know, when they were young. I'm hoping YouTube doesn't get deleted anytime soon. Yes. And so, unfortunately, with that came some kind of pressure. It's hashtag couples goals. Everybody yeah. wants to be yeah, you. Yeah. Everybody wants to have a relationship that mm, you have. Mm, mm. And that also creates its own pressure exactly. um, on the relationship yeah. because the relationship mm. can't just grow naturally true, true, true. as it should grow. Yeah, yeah. But then, and it's all great mm. when everything is great. True. The problem comes in when, when, you, things, fall when things fall apart. Yes. And you have to try and still take the photo for Instagram. Exactly. But then, and look happy for Instagram. Yes. And then come fighting. back and, <laughs> and sort out yeah. the domain yes. Yes. later. Yes. yes. You know? Yeah. 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 And it, then it's yeah, real. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> yeah. So at there moments you'd be like, we're not talking to one another, but we take the perfect family photo. Yo, all the we time. post it. We get my goodness all the A time thousand likes yeah i think for me me when i feel things in private i tend to project them in public yeah so there are times i'm like if i'm mad at him i'm not gonna post him yes but him he i think he's he's headstrong he's yes. like fine we are fighting but i'll still post you yes and yes. so it was always like i'm just looking at that picture and i'm like mm, i just want him to pull it down yes. and everything but yes that did happen a lot that a did lot, happen a, a lot, lot, a lot um okay so now let's talk about mm. people who are already in love yeah. with the two of you yeah how you come to that place of deciding to end mm. the relationship yeah did you feel we talk about washemejis the online washem <laughs> washemejis did yeah. you feel that you also had a responsibility not just to mm, 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 yourself and mm, your children mm. which is important oh, and goodness, significant yeah. Yeah. and your families your yeah. respective families yeah. but did you also feel that you had a responsibility to other people out mm, there mm, to mm. explain what happened true true uh, i'll tell you this um i was happy with just a very silent breakup mm. the people who we needed to tell we told them yes. and that is our family and friends and it was quiet actually for a while until unfortunately i started you know personally i was getting messages from people a month later two months later that he spotted somewhere with this particular person and all that and trust me when you break up I don't know whether it's for women or it's just anyone when you're so in love and you break up and you start hearing this this these things it can make you go mad yes because you're thinking wow I'm here trying to heal but this person has already taken off and yes. they, I, I felt like there was a responsibility to do that yeah. and I remember at some point they were him and well his current um a uh, lady was spotted somewhere and uh, people how, are still... How soon was this after the breakup? 
barely two months. Barely two months. Barely two months. Yes. Barely two months. Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, fine. If you want to do this with another person, you might as well go and tell people that we're no longer together because you're the one who seems to be wanting to move on instead of people constantly sending me things yeah. to my page and my DMs and feeling sorry for me. Yes. Why don't you just go ahead and do that? And that's exactly what it did. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, Carol, I was I was never free. Mm -hmm. I have never been free because it was it's always just been rumors and all that and constant humiliation and eventually now that everything is out in the open i feel like good for them and i also feel like i am free now i'm a free person how did you yeah. find out about the pregnancy because i think that um a lot of us read about the pregnancy we yeah. found out about it online yeah how did you find out was it something he had told you or did you stumble upon it well Carol, i found out at the same time as everyone else I was just minding my own business and someone just said something about it and I was like, ah, that can be true and all that. Then the following day I saw it in the blogs and a day after I saw everything and I think they went live on um, uh, some bloggers, uh, you know, page and everything was just pouring, pouring, pouring. And I was like, oh my God, this is happening. To be honest, at that point, I was thinking all this time like, he could have told me yeah. you know respectively told yeah. me because if that's the life he's chosen then so be it mm -hmm. and i am really happy for him mm -hmm. but it hurt yeah so bad yeah. and by the way I'll, I'll i'll say this because i've seen a lot of people labeling me as a beta and all these kinds of labels which i think we're gonna discuss later and i remember the day before i found out i had sat him down right here on this couch and i was telling him look i'm really rooting for you i really want you to become a better person i want you to actually pursue your healing for a whole hour i was like i'm cheering you on i'm in your corner if you need some time off i can i will be the parent i can be to these kids mm -hmm. you know and i was cheering him on. i even told him i know you are with this lady and trust me I don't have a problem with it. You go and become the best version of yourself you can get. Mm -hmm. And he sat there, never told me a word. And then I found out the following day and I can tell you, I almost went mad with wow. rage of the disrespect. I really yes. felt like yeah. he really, really has been disrespecting me. Yes, yeah. yes. Because I mean, you're, he's the father of your children and, and he's going to have another thank child. Thank you. The, Thank least, you. I, the least he could have, he could done, have done is start. just let you know. Yeah, because the truth is, once he brings this child to the world, I am going to be part. Yes. My children are going to be part of their world. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel, um, just looking at maybe a lot of the comments that have been directed at you, mm -hmm. that you've also not received any support from women, that yeah. women have pro probably been the ones saying to you, oh. you know, uh, why are you... Yeah. Um, getting upset yeah. by him moving on. Yeah. Yet the reality is if you're yeah. in a relationship with someone, yeah. even if they move on after five years, yeah. um, I'm it's, sure it would still be, oh my goodness. it would still cause some pause. Right. Yes. In fact, uh, that same day I told him, uh, if I ever get into a relationship, it doesn't matter who I get into a relationship with and this person will be in my life and I know we're going to the very end. Yes. I will have you to sit down and I will let him know my person let him know that you are the father of these children. Even, the, even if he came and told me, I'm taking care of everything. Mm -hmm. I would never in, want anyone to either disrespect you mm -hmm. or replace you mm -hmm. as the father of my children. Mm -hmm. That is the dad my kids know. Yeah. Their, your DNA runs through them. Yes, yes. And then I sit back and I'm like, every, I have, he did a video where over a thousand people are just bashing me, insulting me labeling me saying all sorts of things where else i have never like even sat down and said anything ill about him mm -hmm. in any i have done quite well maybe about three interviews mm -hmm. this being the fourth one mm -hmm. but i've never even addressed him in a certain manner mm -hmm. it's always been like we're trying we this happened we went separate ways and so be it mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. what it is what yeah. would you say to him Wow, what would I say to him? <laughs> I didn't see this coming. But I wish he can uh, accord me the respect I deserve as the mother of his kids. Yeah. 
I feel that way because um, sometimes you can't put someone out there mm -hmm. to be crucified because mm -hmm. look, at the end of the day, these kids will grow up. Mm -hmm. They will see these things. Mm -hmm. They will see a post where their mother is being called names and yet it was actually not right. I have never, you know, we'll, we'll go to this topic whereby everyone has decided that I've called him a dead big dad. Yeah, I never, I mean, and where did that come from? Where did because that come you, from? Because yes. you never actually said that. Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. In fact, it's all tied down with now me being ungrateful and all that. Yeah. So um, look, like, uh, for instance, when it comes to this house, mm -hmm. who, which um, everyone knows belongs to his mom, mm -hmm. I, I've, not, I've not forced my way into this. We were together. There was an arrangement and we went separate ways. I, if, I don't even think right. you need to justify yeah. yourself because yeah. you have children together. Thank and you. constitutionally, yes. um, both of you are responsible for the care and exactly. the upkeep exactly. of those children. Exactly. I think to some degree, mm. because we are so mm. used to, mm. um, a lot of women are so used to men not taking care of children. So when a man begins, when a man shows that he's taking care of children, they feel, you should we just should. be grateful. Yeah. In fact, keep quiet. It's, it's, he, you it's know, like um, and yet it's his right it's, as the father of, thank you. Of, of those children. His just responsibility. As much as, and, and the responsibility just yes. as much as it's yours. Exactly. As well. You're right. You know. Short and long of this, yeah. if I didn't have these kids, I would not be here. Yeah, true. I would have reverted to my apartment. Yeah. I mean, all I need to do is move my furniture and everything in here. It feels so bad that I have to sit down and actually explain to people that I'm not an ungrateful person. If anything, I am so grateful. Mm -hmm. His mom letting us stay here. Mm -hmm. I am grateful. But people also need to see the other side of the story. Mm -hmm. I'm here because of these babies. Yes. I'm here because I wanted, even when I was moving out, I wanted to move out. She was always welcome so that we can continue with the arrangement we've had. Yes. Only that at that point the he was like, right, the parenting, agreement. which is the paramount mm -hmm. at this point. Mm -hmm. I don't care what he does with his life. And I'm happy for what he's doing, if that's what makes him happy, because my kids need a happy parent. Yeah. If he's happy, my babies will have a happy father. Yeah. How do your children feel, especially your mm. eldest? Uh, he's never really expressed himself verbally and said, I miss Papa oh. or I don't want Papa. It's always like, oh, he's here. Mm. Okay, life goes on. Mm -hmm. And if he leaves, it's a goodbye. But mm -hmm. sometimes I could see every time he drops him. I even had a discussion this with Frankie. I told him, um, I don't want my kids to grow up with the separation anxiety mm -hmm. or that feeling of abandonment whereby mm -hmm. I'd even tell him if you come and say goodbye just mm -hmm. just don't drop them take your time let them know that you're leaving and you'll be back mm -hmm. right yes. and so every time I would think I would never project anything mm -hmm. negative mm -hmm. towards them and mm -hmm. about their father and what he decides to do with his life mm -hmm. I, I even told him I was like look um, I would never ever say anything negative mm -hmm. it, it's you and I who mm -hmm. broke up Mm -hmm. Your babies are still yours mm -hmm. and whatever you decide to do with your life, they will see who you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And that's very um, admirable and commendable because a lot of women decide he's not in my life. I don't want him to see that's it. the children, that's it. That's but that's they it. don't recognize that they're actually also hurting the children. Yeah. Especially when the man himself wants to be present right. in the children's right. life. Like, you know, yeah. in the case of, of Frankie, yeah. you know, yeah. he wants to be present yes. in his children's lives yeah. and he wants to contribute. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Um, so maybe you can speak to that because mm. some women are like, I don't want anything. Mm. I want to mm. delete this man's name <laughs> it's true. from my children's life. Yeah. And to be honest, unless and until there are certain aspects like violence mm. and uh, total abandonment and um, you know just a toxic negligence city. And, and toxicity and mm. you know for a fact this person is not good mm -hmm. enough to be in your kids lives mm -hmm. I would advocate let dad see their kids mm -hmm. let there be peace even when we meet um, I know he comes sometimes and my son is like let me say hi to papa 
and mm. I, even if I'm not okay with him, I'll tell him, "Hi, Baba. Hi, Baba, mm. Lexi." Mm-hmm. And I, you know, just be cordial because yeah. people heal at the yes. end of the day. Because mm. at the end of the day, even personally, I would want us to be like really good friends mm-hmm. in future, yes. such that if my son tells me, "Hey, Mom, I'm I'm off to see Dad," mm. I'm like, "Sure, mm. go ahead." Mm-hmm. Instead of wondering, okay, uh, this and that is happening, mm-hmm. but I feel like women should separate yeah. their emotions mm-hmm. anger and everything they go through because they do go through a lot yes from the children having their dad mm. present mm-hmm. it's that simple yeah 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 Clear. we wish you all the best in finding love again you find um, after, then. <laughs> after healing yes 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 after healing i can say i'm actually quite healed but mm-hmm. i must tell you this this mm-hmm. is a victory for me mm-hmm. so uh, when all this was happening i slipped into like a really really bad depression yes. and i was diagnosed actually with uh, severe depression and anxiety mm-hmm. I started a medication September last year, September wow. 10th. I'll never forget that day. Wow. And when I started the medication, uh constantly the healing was taking place. Yes. Uh there was a uh, amazing therapy with mm-hmm. my doctor Dr. Njuguna mm-hmm. and I just got off my medication 2 months ago. Wow. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, and well I feel done. good. And I you feel know, good. Thank you for sharing that because yes. I think we sometimes also just don't understand mm. how much a, a, a breakup like that yep. can impact us That's the thing. emotionally. Yeah, yeah. because you know? like I said, I mean, I think this was my also my first serious yes. love. Yeah. Before that, um, I'm not the kind who dates and so much sorts to the next, to the next relationship. Yeah, In fact, yeah. before uh um, my ex met me i was single for about 2 years yeah. and before that it was just casual dating yeah. where by you you know i was mm. young as well yeah. and this one i'm like okay i found it mm. i'm going to move in it and mm. then also people forget mm. being in a relationship and kids are involved mm. you don't think for yourself yes. you're thinking about these babies you're thinking about everything in between yes. and it's not just smooth sailing yeah. it's yeah. it's about detaching and you know this person you know when you're single mm. when you're alone it's mm. easier to break up with a person and move on yeah. but you have to constantly be attached to this person yes. hope they can be good a good person to you hope you can be friends mm-hmm. and then you know you keep building this thing especially mm. for the sake of the kids mm. but yeah things yeah. do happen things do happen yeah things do happen yeah what's next for Maureen Ooh. what are you looking forward to doing right so uh it's already begun mm-hmm. i think for me it's just about winning mm-hmm. winning 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 mm-hmm. and winning for me means achieving my dreams yeah. in every manner of speaking yeah. uh getting more and more uh, abundance yes. because i don't like saying financial etc because mm-hmm. i could have money and i'm so unhappy mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. it's about continuing with the journey that i've begun yes. and my journey revolves around inspiring people not just women mm-hmm. people in the world mm-hmm. uh, i mean the hair business mm-hmm. so i just recently restarted it yes. and it's going on very well mm-hmm. i have bigger dreams than what even miss the eye so yes. i hope maybe in another four years we'll have another cover yes. and i can tell you all about <laughs> it yes. but it's going to basically take everything i've learned so mm-hmm. far mm-hmm. and building it into something mm-hmm. which will be in a way Um, I like calling it a caterpillar to butterfly. Yes. I want anyone who comes in my abode mm. to live a better person whether financially, emotionally, uh in any manner of speaking. Mm-hmm. Meaning um I'm looking at an institution that wow. I can literally transform lives. Wow. I have it on my uh board. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm already doing it slowly. Mm-hmm through my social media platforms mm-hmm. trust me mm-hmm. there's what people see but this what happens actually in my dms there's a community i've created mm-hmm. of people who are heading to the next direction yes. i'm being very careful not to say women because it's both men and women yes uh the most uh, you know near future you know plans mm-hmm. are to just mm-hmm. work Mm-hmm. and work and work like I've been doing have mm-hmm. a lot of money mm-hmm. and um just be the best mama can be to my kids yeah. and provide yeah. for them everything they would ideally need yes yes wonderful yeah final question yes um what lessons 
have you learned? What lessons are you taking forward even as you go into yeah. the brave new world that you want oh, to do right. with, with, with the transformative um, coaching yeah. or yes. institute yes. that you're talking yes. about? Yes. Yes. What lessons are you taking forward All right. this, from this experience? If any person doesn't know you personally, mm -hmm. don't take anything personally. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. People will always have opinion. Mm -hmm. People will always have things to say to yes. you, at you. Yes. You'll be discussed in places you've never entered, mm -hmm. both positive, both negative. Yeah. Stand firm. Yes. Find your identity in who created you. Yes. And mine is in God, yes. so that I'm not defined by what the world says. Mm -hmm. Third, truth is like a light mm. it always comes out it always comes no out. matter how much you try to cover it the internet never forgets mm -hmm. what you put out there would be the same thing that is used against you mm -hmm. forgive 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 run mm -hmm. and just leave everything behind because carrying that burden is the worst mistake anyone can do that's why you find people 12 years later they're still struggling with the same cycle of yeah. issues. Yeah. All right. Another thing is just let go. Let go and let God. And finally, time tells everything. Mm -hmm. it, it's just out there, yeah. up ahead. Mm -hmm. But go there and burden. Walk light. Walk light. Be okay with people. Move forward and let everything fall into place. Wow, Maureen, yeah. thank you so much. Wise words, travel light. I'm taking so much from, oh. from, from this conversation. <laughs> I could have never imagined. Um, thank you. And I just wish you all the best. Thank you. As you raise your two boys yes. and as you continue to spread your brand of positivity into oh, the world. Ab absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. And uh, maybe I can just add this. Um, um, and this goes to everyone. Whenever people are throwing daggers, mm. it's just a projection of who they are. Yeah. I would urge everyone before coming at a person, ask yourself, am I okay? Mm. You know, just like the case of entanglement, you know, yes. you are laughing at someone else's entanglement, mm. but you're in one yourself. And I honestly wish everyone just a bit of peace and healing within themselves. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Peace and healing for everybody. Wow. What an authentic, candid conversation that was. Uh, make sure you get your copy of the True Love August issue where Maureen Waititu is on the cover, looking amazing, and just get to find out a lot more about her. Follow us on social media and make sure you never get to miss another edition of True Love Exclusive. Until next time, God bless and have an amazing August. <music>